YouTube has been recommending me videos talking about how greed is killing the video game industry and killing gaming. And as a Sims fan, I feel pretty qualified to discuss this and how it's affecting the Sims. Quick disclaimer though, I am a Sims channel and I play and love the Sims. But as a longtime Sims fan, I'd be lying if I said Sims hasn't gone to being money hungry and forgetting about fans. So this is coming from a fan who wants the Sims to improve and not as a hater who wants the Sims to die. The Sims 4 is a 10 year old game and this is definitely a huge factor as to why it's so expensive. Somehow. <laughs> As The Sims 4 has gone through its life, we've seen multiple packs yearly making The Sims total cost rack up higher than $1,000. Yes, the total game being higher than a thousand. <laughs> I do think it'd be good to go back to The Sims 3 and talk about how that game worked as it is the previous game. See, Sims is under EA, which is heavily hated, but before Sims 4, I'd say The Sims franchise was never that bad. It's always had its fair share of paid DLCs, but it has never been as bad as The Sims 4. Sims 3 had expansion packs, which are like big loaded DLCs, and stuff packs are the more small kind of stuff. It also had a store where you could like purchase little items. The Sims 3 had 11 expansion packs, by the end and while that's still a lot you never needed all of them to enjoy the sims 3. Not to mention how much more content was included in all of these sims 3 packs. Now let's go back to the sims 4. The sims 4 has expansion packs now from 50 to 60 in Australian currency. The loaded big DLCs but they aren't that big in fact they've gone terribly. <laughs> Sims 3, we had a pets DLC. This included horses, cats, dogs, and cute little creatures. Well, now in The Sims 4, we have a cats and dogs expansion pack, but you want horses, okay, another $60, and you want little creatures. Well, you have to buy a stuff pack, which has like three creatures, and half the stuff in this pack actually needs cats and dogs to work. The second DLC is a new one, and it's game pack. You want restaurants? Well, pay up to $30. Spas, camping, all $30. This DLC is new to The Sims 4 and mainly has different gameplay elements. The third, yes, third type of DLC is stuff packs. I believe this is priced at about $15 and this is all about adding more stuff to your game. This is where that terrible My First Pet stuff comes out. Most of these aren't worth it and barely add literally anything. The last DLC type is kits, very bite-sized, about $7 and these were only added a little while ago and the whole purpose is to be a little bit more niche for certain players, mainly for console players and those players who don't like download custom content in their game for free. DLCs are nothing new but the sheer amount is just pure greed, especially when so many packs could have been in base game or a few DLCs could have been grouped together. There are a lot of expansion packs, game packs and stuff packs and there are a shit ton of kits. Yep, that's a whole lot of money and greed and not to mention The Sims 4 is still creating packs. Literally, they're about to release a whole new $60 pack. Just for love, by the way. It's not even just the sheer amount of packs being released, it's that they're basically unfinished and full of bugs. So do you guys remember Fortnite, that battle royale that set gaming into the worst free-to-play marketing strat? Well, yeah. When I bought The Sims 4, it was basically the moment that it came out, and it was probably about 60 or something. But in 2022, The Sims ultimately decided they would try free-to-play. Now, I'm not complaining because, like I said, I bought The Sims years ago, so I had a full like six or so years to enjoy The Sims before it became free. They also gave us like a free kit as like a sorry, but like I said, this was only $7 anyways. But this to me at least seemed to come with the idea that if they could get more people to play base game, they could try and sell more kits and packs to people. Don't believe Sims is pushing packs. As of a few months ago, every time I go to The Sims, it recommends like a new DLC for me to download. And they even have packs, like a packs we recommend little shopping icon in the UI. And it will randomly pop up as a pack recommendation for you which can be super imposing and straight up annoying. Like I'm trying to create a character in cast and it's like, you should download this pack. I have almost all the pack Sims, leave me the hell alone. <laughs> if none of that convinced you The Sims is greedy though, I don't know what to say. On one hand, I'd love to move into The Sims 5 with less glitches, better DLCs, and a better base game. But on the other hand, me and many others have spent far too much on The Sims 4 to ditch it. So I don't know, but if The Sims continues pushing out so many packs, it'll continue to lose fans, and when a new life sim like Paralives comes out, The Sims could be wiped away forever. Literally a 24 year long franchise just gone like that out of greediness. I do think it's a bit confusing because on one hand Sims 4 is a just bad game in general. It was really rushed out. There's like a ton of videos talking about why The Sims was rushed, but it was always a poor game and even base game came out with barely anything. I think The Sims 4 was kind of built on greed and also a bit of confusion and rush to get this game out. And now they're trying to push it for as long as possible, but that does ultimately make the game way too big. And a lot of packs could have been combined into one, and honestly, some packs don't even need to be packs. It's a bit confusing, and on one hand, I would really dislike having to restart with The Sims 5, but I also think Sims 4 is just flawed in general, so there's not much you can do to fix it, despite all the 
the bug fixes they're trying to do. But that is all. It's just a quick little video to talk about how I think Sims is going to die because of the greed and EA. But yeah, that is all guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think Sims is too greedy? What do you guys think? I know a lot of people are boycotting and, you know, trying to do um some pirating tactics to get Sims instead, which I obviously don't recommend. But I know a lot of people are doing that just purely because most average Sims fans cannot afford to pay that much for Sims, especially if you're a new Sims fan and you see all these packs that you're expected to buy. It's just a wee bit insane. But anyways, that is all guys. If you do love The Sims nonetheless, please subscribe and like this video and comment down below what you guys think and also what other videos you'd like to see from me. I do have fun doing more kind of like not essay style, but like more just talking about certain things that interest me in the Sims world. While I do like playing, I do definitely have more fun doing a bit more of commentary style stuff. So let me know if there's anything else Sims related you guys would like to see. But yeah, that is all. I love you all so, so much and I will see you all later. Bye!